Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Marketing Water Cooler Podcast. My name is Jeremy Franchese. Thanks for stopping by. Normally, these episodes are going to start with me asking Steph what we're getting into. Uh, But the nature of this episode being um, the first one, I want to introduce myself and uh, explain to you a little bit about what puts me in a position to guide you, advise you on how to execute in the current state of things when it comes to marketing, branding, content, et cetera, right? Because right now I run a full service marketing creative shop, Strategic Branding Studios. We have staff all over the country and we work with B2B organizations uh, from private equity, cybersecurity, financial services, healthcare, technology products to um, consulting firms and everything in between. And these are companies that are seasoned, well-established, proven in their their market. And they're looking to us to, to activate that communication muscle to sustainably and effectively accelerate the business with communications and marketing, right? And so that may be where we're at today. But the truth is that that's really not my whole journey. And if you look at my background, whether it's LinkedIn or otherwise, I don't have a traditional agency background. And most of the things that I cut my teeth and got got experience from, they're not going to show on a traditional resume, right? Because a lot of it started uh, back in 2013, right? When 2013 was, was taken, Taking place. I was actually still in school. Um, and I was at a point in my career where I put out content, I'd started to move things along um, because I kind of saw where things were going. I understood that a lot of people uh, were in a position where they had to shift how they were communicating. Right. And, and they looked at social and Facebook and other platforms to do it. But it was a, it was a bigger shift than that. And so for me, I was going through school. I always knew I kind of wanted to be in business and sales. Um, but I started helping people. I started getting messages from mom and pop shops that were like, look, I've built my entire business through the Chamber of Commerce, the B&I groups, the staying after for PTO and just shaking the hands and meeting people, being authentic and involved in the community. And I don't know, Jeremy, how to go online and be a human being. I don't want to become a salesperson where I lose what makes me so special, but I don't understand how to make this shift. So from 2013 to 2015, 16, give or take, you know, I spent a solid three years where I made zero dollars, but after hours, whether it was outside of classes, outside of work, once I graduated, just helping people figure out how to take what they know and bring it to the world where people can form an opinion on them get clear on who they are, why they do what they do and what makes them valuable. And the results spoke for themselves, whether it was content strategies turning into speaking arrangements, whether it turned into revenue bump um, or people leaving jobs that they were uncomfortable with from a security standpoint and now running firms of their own or business of their own because they learned how to take a message of authenticity and, and, and credibility and bring it online without losing it, right? Because they have to play the digital game. As that progressed, I started getting more and more asks. Right. It started from, can you help me figure this out? You know, what to say, where to say it to, can you help me build what we're saying? Right. From instead of content strategy, media to established companies coming to me saying, can you help us rebrand? We need to reframe our identity from websites to logos and everything in between because we're trying to accelerate. And along that journey, I launched a podcast. Um, That podcast has done well over $100,000 in revenue without a single ad because it connected with people and drove them to action because they felt trust and confidence in whatever they were doing. Not to mention the number of guests that came on and brought on business because their conversation was right. And people reached out saying, hey, who did you interview? I'd love to connect with them and buy from them. Several people got clients directly through the podcast without selling by just having great conversation. So the point being, I started to figure out that the landscape was shifting. And in a world where everybody was focusing on volume and amplification, nobody was thinking as deeply about positioning. People weren't paying attention enough to authenticity around the message. They were just trying to make things look better instead of focusing on, are we really meeting our customers where they are and adding value in the journey? And so from 2013 to today, you know, or to 2019, give or take, from starting where I started with mom and pop shops that had no stock price or investors to protect was purely just trying to keep a roof over their head, right? Um, and not lose what to their reputation in the community while going online to establish organizations, more project-based work, me deepening my creative network to support the bigger asks, launching the podcast, which changed everything, right? And from there, started getting put in a position where, you know, people were asking us to do real functional changes in the business to drive outcomes, right? Whether it was sales or reputation, or they wanted to attract great talent and they didn't know how to position themselves. Um, and so at this point in time, you know, it, it was, it's, it's a conversation of, we aren't your traditional agency. I don't have a traditional background. I didn't learn and cut my teeth with a hundred thousand dollar a month budget from a fortune 500 company. And then I just entered into a system with, with infrastructure. I'm working with companies and building uh, a different framework. 
And what we're finding is it's really fundamentally working because it's unpretentious. It, 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 it is it's bypassing boardroom chatter and it's going straight to what do we need to understand about our customers to move them along? So the podcast in this session is all about how we do that. And, and the goal is to educate, the goal is to add value um, because I think that if we can get back to the fundamentals while adopting the value of technology and where we're headed, you can do really amazing things with marketing, um, but it may take reframing things. And so that's a little on me. You'll learn more as you go if you stick around. Uh, but for now, thank you. And uh, I hope you stick around for more because we have quite a bit in store for you. Hey, thanks so much for uh, for sticking around to the end. Uh, if you like the video, smash the like button and uh, and hit subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the new episodes. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We will fold them into future episodes and make sure that you get the help and the answers you're really looking for uh, for all things marketing and communications.